Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP laptop 17 inch. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown. And this process would be a step by step on how to replace your battery, change the motherboard, maybe upgrade your RAM, upgrade your M.2 solid state drive, things like that. So let me show you the model number. Here is the HP 17 BY3056CL. Okay, let's go ahead and start removing some of the screws. Once you remove this screw here, you can actually slide your optical drive for the CD-ROM to your left. So slide it out. And here you can see they're hidden underneath two other screws. Go ahead and remove them. These two screws are a little bit more flat and it has a bigger uh, washer or what, a bigger flat head on that screw. Now the next part is, you want to go ahead and get the uh, uh, prying tool or anything that pry open underneath the, uh, the rubber. So this is actually a rubber stopper that stops the laptop from sliding away. So remove that rubber. top and bottom. Once you remove that, go ahead and remove the screws. All the screws are actually just Phillips. So all you need is just a Phillips screwdriver. Mine is an electronic screwdriver. You can get a regular one. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so once you have done all the screws removal, the next step I like to do is to start from the corner here. I'm trying to pry open and separate the keyboard. Sorry, not the keyboard, the palm rest. And it's good to use a plastic prying tool so that you're not scratching the, the uh, you're not making a dent or any scratch onto the, uh, uh, the laptop. I actually, uh, I will list all the tools in the de description below. Uh, I, I got my tools from the Amazon. Uh, so I will just go ahead and, and help you find the right tools for this repair. Also, I will have the um, parts, like the parts like the uh, M.2 or the battery listed in the description below. Uh, just to help you easily find the replacement for your repair. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it upside down. Sorry, I have a candy in my mouth. So every time when I talk, uh, I feel like I need to be watched out, not speeding out the candy. I shouldn't have ate the candy while, you know, before doing the video, but. I apologize on that. My candy is, is coffee candy. It's, it's big. It's, it's not melting away as quickly as I want. But just bear with me. I'll, I'll speak uh, better. <laughs> Alright, so uh, here is the motherboard, the CPU fan. This is the battery. Now let's talk a little bit about the battery. If your battery is not holding the charge, 
and if your battery is uh, swollen or you can feel it is, is swell uh, like a lump on it then that means you really need a battery replacement now this battery here is actually right underneath the touchpad and if you notice your touchpad the clicker is not as good as before or if you feel like your touchpad is is coming out um, then it means that the battery is pushing underneath from behind uh, that is one of the indicator that you want to watch out so there are four screws to remove the battery once you remove the the screws you can actually lift the battery up the battery has no connector to it it just sit right onto this um, uh, slot here now this is the battery replacement part if you want to look it up uh, let me see if I can find it HT03XL or you can look it up for this L11 119-855 this is the battery all right so this is your m.2 drive which is all your c drive your data everything is stored into this m.2 okay so um let's see this m.2 here runs on 256 gigabyte and if you feel like you need more space uh, you can actually clone the m.2 over uh, you can clone the m.2 over to a larger uh, larger hard drive so if this is a one terabyte and uh, you can actually clone it over now I make a separate video that I talk about using this USB adapter when you slide this thing in. This is the M.2 adapter reader. You slide it in and you can actually, um, you know, while this thing is installed here, you can plug it in, uh, use the Acronis disk. I have a separate video talk about just about cloning and upgrading from the smaller drive to a larger drive. I have the link in the description. Uh, if you want to watch that, go ahead and upgrade your, you know, your hard drive to a larger drive. But in this video here, I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to explain to you. I make that separate video just for that. Okay, uh, this is the DDR4 RAM, and it comes with eight gigs. You can actually add additional RAM here. So there are two RAM slot, eight and eight, sixteen. I think you can go up to thirty-two, but 16 is more than enough for me uh, but right now it's running on 8 which is okay let's start to take the motherboard out okay so let's go ahead and disconnect the uh, keyboard this is the uh, keyboard this is your touchpad this is probably the clicker so you need to flip open that little uh, secure tab here flip Flip it up to 90 degree angle. This is your CD-ROM, so go ahead and flip that too. Slide the cable to your right. And let's go ahead and disconnect the uh, Wi-Fi first. This is your CPU connector, you can slide the CPU down. Okay. Move the Wi-Fi connector to your left. So there are two screws that holds on to the CPU fan, top left, bottom right. And this is the CPU fan looks like. Now if your fan is very dusty, you can get the a can duster and go ahead and dust it out. And if your fan is spinning uh, unevenly, meaning that the ball bearing uh, you know, has corrosion or whatnot, you can actually hear the blade scraping to the metal uh, fans here. So you can hear like, uh, scraping noise so if that is the case go ahead and replace your CPU fan now this is your heatsink uh, I believe you need to remove the heatsink to get to the motherboard maybe not yeah I don't think so okay so um, that is that that is that let's go ahead and remove this one here
we need to remove this i think this is actually a uh, a latch to latch onto the uh to the the cover the laptop cover for the bottom part so go ahead and remove that So the motherboard is very straightforward and simple, nothing fancy. Okay, so this is for your speaker. Go ahead and disconnect the uh, the cable by sliding down the cable towards your body. This one here is your 30-pin connected LCD screen. Flip open that little clipper, and you can actually disconnect that um, that 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 LCD cable. go ahead and remove some of the screws on the motherboard now I believe the motherboard is free oh, there's one more cable right here and this is your DC jack connector so you see the DC jack is still connected to the top right I just slide the connector away from my body, just push it away, and that's how you disconnect the uh, uh, the DC jack. So this is your motherboard. If you have a motherboard replacement, uh, this these are the step on how to do that. Now, if you're gonna ask me where to buy the motherboard, I would look up for this model right here. Okay, something like this for the uh, replacement motherboard. Uh, what else I was gonna say? Oh yeah, if you're going to ask me if there's a CMOS on the motherboard, as you can see, there's no CMOS whatsoever. This motherboard is just strictly motherboard. Now, all these new laptop nowadays, the new motherboard, they run off the battery uh, from the main, main battery, okay? Everything is from this one here. So if you disconnect this battery long enough, maybe like 5-10 minutes, uh, I would think that the, the, the motherboard would reset its uh, BIOS. All right, so um, now if you're gonna ask me if the keyboard is, is replaceable, the answer is no. Uh, all I can see like the keyboard is actually punched down right by the manufacturer. It's not like a screw in. So the keyboard and the palm rest is all together one big piece. Now I'll show it to you what I mean by that. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the two screws for the hinge. So if you want to replace the screen, the full assembly this is the process to do that so go ahead and remove the two screws so once I remove the two screws I push the hinge up at 90 degree angle on both sides Okay, now this is the DC jack connector. If you have a broken DC jack, let's just say something gets stuck in there or broke it off, then you can just replace the part by looking up this model here. And then this is how it looks like for the DC jack. Okay, now what I mean by the screen replacement full assembly is, is is you remove entirely the entire screen and uh, with the hinge on it so the Wi-Fi and the cable is all part of the full assembly for the screen now this is strictly just your keyboard right your touchpad and the keyboard the palm rest the keyboard you see how it's being uh, pressed down by the uh, the back plate here so this is not replaceable keyboard if you have a bad keyboard if you spill something on it you technically would have to replace the replace the entire keyboard so that is the bad news uh, for this situation all right so i already did a complete teardown and if you have any question just comment below i hope that uh, this video helps you with your own repair if you have any question just uh, talk to me i'm more than happy to answer those questions at the same time i like to request if you can hit the like button uh, that helps me to uh, motivates me to make more of this sort of video for you 
and uh, subscribe I like to hear from you and uh, and you know um, get in touch with you so uh, until next time please take care